Yeah, I absolutely love growing up in Tilsley. Uh, I still live in Tilsley now and I don't think I'll ever leave. I think Tilsley's a special place and everyone knows everyone in Tilsley. Growing up, I was always on in the garden practicing, doing kick-ups and practicing my skills and stuff. And We'd go on the estate across the road and, and play with the lads. Uh, I think my inspiration growing up was Cristiano Ronaldo. I used to sit on the laptop at home and watch Cristiano Ronaldo doing skills and I'd go and do them in the, in the backyard. And Yeah, he was massive growing up and I love how hard and how driven he is. I must have been about four or five playing with the boys and my cousins and my mates down Hinesford, uh, the local football club. Uh, me and my brother, all my cousins and the lads used to play by the tree down there at the side of the pitch. Our dads, mums and dads used to have to drag us off afterwards. And now I still come down every Saturday and my cousins are now playing for Hinesford and get to watch them and, and see all the young kids on the Astro pitch that we've had made. Yeah, I think those were my first footballing memories and then obviously going to Astley and Tilsley girls when I was about six. Mr Rigby took me under his wing a little bit right from year seven. Always pushed me to work hard and, and believe in myself and also made sure that I did my other work, uh, not just my PE stuff. She was down in PE all the time. She'd pick up a badminton racket, a table tennis bat. As soon as she came in, that enthusiasm and that, 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 that drive to do some, something sporty was there and it was a passion and you could see that. And then on a, on a Friday night, I used to play with the staff, uh, five aside in the sports hall. And I absolutely love school. Uh, I wish I could go back and do it all again. She'd just give everything, whatever she did, she'd give 100%. It's just because I was so competitive and I wanted to do everything and, and win, win everything. Uh, same with cross country. I used to win it, but I absolutely hated it. So she'd be picked for the rowing team, she'd be picked for the table tennis team, she'd be picked for the badminton team. The knock-on effect that Ella's had is that girls just want to say, right, yeah, I can play and, and, and I'm going to show you. Uh, and, it, and it's great to see that we can pull 13, 14, 15 girls together uh, and make a team. So it, it's brilliant. We are immensely proud of Ella, absolutely, unequivocally. Ella, we are delighted you're here today because it gives me the immense privilege of uh, giving you the Professional Footballers Association Virtu Motors Fans Player of the Month Award for October. But more importantly, just to tell you that on behalf of Fred Longworth, of the whole community, the girls who aspire to be just like you, we are really proud of you. And this surely is gonna be the first of many. So well done. Thank you. I've got you a nice little picture as well to go with it. I've got somewhere to put it. Did you it. make that? I didn't, know. <laughs> I think the women's game's stronger than ever. It's grown massively. Money's being pumped into women's football and hopefully we can get more young girls and boys involved in, in, in football and, and keep growing the women's game.